Now we will talk about the muscles of the shoulder. First, the most superficial muscle is the trapezius. The trapezius derives its name from the trapezoid or diamond shape that is formed when both muscles are taken together. The origin of the trapezius is very broad, extending from the superior nuchal line up here the external occipital protuberance, the ligamentum nuchi, down over here, and the spinous processes of vertebrae C7 to T12, which is not visible here. The trapezius inserts on the lateral one-third of the clavicle, which you can't see here. The acromion over here, and the spine of the scapula. The trapezius is a powerful elevator of the scapula, and it enables the abduction of the humerus above the horizontal by upwardly rotating the scapula. The middle fibers retract or adduct the scapula, and the lower fibers, which you can see some of, of over here, depress the scapula. If we remove the trapezius muscle from one side, as you can do in this model, we can see two muscles which derive their name from their rhomboid shape the rhomboidius minor, or the rhomboid minor, and the rhomboidius major, the rhomboid major. First, let's look at the rhomboid, rhomboidius minor. The rhomboidius minor muscle originates from the lower end of the ligamentum nuchi and the spines of vertebrae C7 and T1. It inserts on the medial border of the scapula, uh, not too far away from the root of the spine right over here. The rhomboidius major originates from the spines of T2 to T5 and inserts on the medial border of the scapula below the rhomboidius minor going down to the inferior angle of the scapula. Both rhomboid muscles retract or adduct the scapula, elevate the scapula, and rotate the scapula downward.